Hey Capricorns, welcome to your weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today, April 23rd to the 30th. Cappies and Cancers, you guys have been so patient, so patient, and I really appreciate it because not all signs can practice patience like you do have for this uh, weekly reading. And Capricorns, it's interesting because you were actually the sign I wanted to start with first, like very, very first. And when I first try to get into your energy for this timeline, um, and you know, time, right? Uh, we all work through energy differently. This could apply to you later on or probably has already happened for some of you. Um, but Capricorn, when I tried to tap into your energy the first time around, like when I tried to put you guys first, I just got stonewalled like from you guys, like totally stonewalled. Like you guys were not letting me in. And I was like, oh, I usually don't have trouble like this with my Capricorns. I was like, okay, let me just move on. They clearly aren't feeling it. And then uh, when I was trying to do it yesterday with all my other like internet issues, which was irritating, that's why I gave up because I finally got Leo up, even though I did that early in the morning. And then I was like, okay, clearly I just need to get my internet fixed, but we're good to go. So Caps, even when I tried to do that, it was still more of that stone wall. Like, I'm not letting anyone in. I don't want to even look at people. I don't want to expose my energy to anybody. It's like very much like not even like more than just defensive. It's just like, like, just stay the hell away from me. Like, stay the hell away from me. I'm guarded and I just, I don't trust. I don't want to trust. I'm trying to stay focused. Um, I'm also getting that some of you are, are kind of annoyed at not getting recognition about something. And I think it's in regards to work for a lot of you, like a promotion you were waiting on or like a bonus you've been waiting on or some kind of like, even just like kudos for something in particular. And I kept getting project over and over and over when I was meditating on your energy. Um, yeah, I kept getting the word project. Sorry, they're giving me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? Uh, sorry, no, I was just getting more information for you guys. I did get the word project, but now it's making sense because now they're giving me downloads about work. Um, yeah, you guys are just so into your pentacles right now. It's like not even funny. Um, <laughs> and I think you guys have kind of like attempted to do that because like work is important to you. But I got to be honest, Cap, some of you I think have been using it as an escape to heal from something, to work through some shit. But you're annoyed because you've been expecting something big at work. Promotion, bonus, recognition, whatever. And it hasn't happened yet. And I think it's been pissing you off. So you've been focusing on it more, which has been making you more frustrated. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's that compounding upon itself effect. That's only for some of you, or that could apply to someone that you're connecting with, like a workaholic kind of energy. Anyway, bringing it back to you, Cap Cappies. Um, but yeah, I just keep getting stonewall with you. Like total stonewall. You're not having it with anyone. You're just, you just kind of want to block the world out right now. Okay. Oh, just got a little wave of sadness. It's interesting though. You're not, you're trying not to feel it. This little wave of sadness. It's almost like you're trying to shove it down. You're shoving it down because you want to stay focused on your pentacles. Oh, cappies. Okay. So let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have eight of cups in reverse, Piscean energy, three of swords, Libra energy, 10 of swords, Gemini energy. Yeah, see, like, all of this shit, like, there's something that's really upsetting, something that is, like, a lot of freaking pain. For some of you, it wasn't ending, like, this could be a breakup that you're you're having trouble getting over, right? Because eight of, eight of Cups in Reverse, it's like, you can't really move past it. I'm also getting Revisit. Revisit. Some of you are revisiting some pain. Oh, because you haven't dealt with it properly. That's only for some of you who are revisiting this old pain. It's because you haven't dealt with it properly and you're being reminded of it for some reason. Um, but others, it's like, this is something you can't let go of that's really upsetting. And it doesn't have to just be romance. It could also be like work. It could also be work related because I'm feeling work real strong for my cappies right now. Uh, but this is a lot of heartache, a lot of betrayal too. Just feeling like, did you have to stab me so many times? <laughs> like, did you have to kick me while I was down? You know, like that kind of energy. And I feel like some of you are revisiting that situation in your head, like, like on an old situation from a past relationship. It's like, why did that fucker had to do like, why did they have to do that to me so many times over? You know, it's almost like you're doing some reflecting to Capricorn. And I think you're not happy with some of the things you let people get away with. Sorry, I'm getting a bunch of stuff for you now. <laughs> now it's all coming out now that you've been stonewalling me for so long. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, some of you are, are being, uh, yeah, some of you, for some reason, it's like you're looking back at your past relationships or even like your relationships at work and you're just like, what, like, why did I let that person get away with that for so long? Or like, why did I, you know, it's like you're almost kind of putting the blame on yourself and then you get annoyed with thinking about it. Then you just go back to work and try to shove it down. But clearly it's something you have to work through, Cap. Clearly it's something you got to work through. Okay. So then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is like, um... It's spirituality, it's also commitments, it's contracts, um, it's also counsel, you know, seeking counsel, learning, and teaching. You're trying to learn from this shit, but it's pretty painful. So then it's like, you kind of put some energy into it, then you're like, no, shut it out, shut it out. I can't deal with that right now. You want to, you want to learn from, from this pain, whatever this pain was for you or is for you, but you're having a hard time with it because it is very painful. And then you're just like, yeah, no, I can't go there. I, I, Stonewall, refocus, work, pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. <laughs> and then we get to the five of wands, Leo energy with the seven of swords in reverse. I feel like this is past energy. I feel like you've encountered obstacles every step of the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For those of you who are in a relationship, I don't feel like this is for my cappies who are in relationships. It feels like these are for my single caps, but it could apply to people in relationships. Uh, and this is still just the pre-shuffle. <laughs> um, there's been obstacles every step of the way in a relationship, past or present. And it feels more like a recent past, not long ago, recent past, recent past. There were obstacles every step of the way, work or love work or love um for some of you at work they've been putting you through the ringer through the ringer sorry i realized i didn't pronounce that <laughs> no pronunciation came out of my mouth but you have been being you have been put through the ringer at work but it has taught you a lot it's taught you a lot but you're thinking about it and it's like you're just like yeah that wasn't fucking necessary um <laughs> Anyway, moving on, Caps. Let's get into your reading, by the way, on the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so let's get into your reading, guys, because I'm very curious. A lot of work going on for you, but again, a lot of like pushing away of pain, pushing away of thoughts about your love life, and then it creeps up and you spend time thinking about it, then you push it right back out again. So let's see what's going on, Cappies. So it goes without saying this is a general love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Sometimes that will be you and sometimes it won't. And it's okay if it's not. Uh, we are working with energy, guys. So just know the energy is fluid. It's not linear. So messages can be reversed or they can apply to someone else in your life, someone you think about, someone that you're around, someone that you see, someone that you don't see. Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. And this is a love reading, but as we've already gone over, it can apply to work, social circle, family, friends, that sort of thing. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th? And because... I know you guys were very, you guys were so freaking patient with me. My goodness. And maybe you were so patient because you were too focused on work. <laughs> um, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to do something a little special. I might even pull out my shaman deck for you guys. Any messages for Capricorn? Oh, sorry. My guides just yelled at me to keep my feet planted and sit straight. <laughs> Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? April 22nd to the 30th. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th? Oh, interesting. Um, sorry, they gave me a visual and then they started giving me words and they're not related. So give me a second. So the word they gave me was patience, Cap. Patience. Especially those in that work situation where you're not getting recognition that you want. Patience. It's coming. The thing, things take time to build. And things also take time for people to recognize the need to recognize other people. You know what I mean? So, like, just give us some time caps for those in, this situation, in that situation. Um, also, I saw, like, playground, like, at a park. So, I don't know if, like, you're, oh, you need a little fun cap. You need a little fun. You need to, you kind of need a little bit of that like silly fun, like child play, child's play, you know? Um, you're working too hard. You're working too hard. You're too focused. You're not even addressing the emotional shit you need to address. You might as well have a little fun, okay? Any messages for Capricorn 
regarding love from now until April 30th. Any messages for Capricorn? Let's see what we got here. Wow. You worried about your pentacles, Cap? Five of pentacles. Some of you are really, really worried about your pentacles. Some of you might be struggling financially. I'm telling you, Cap, you just patience. Sorry, they're telling me again. Patience. Patience. Now we do have six of swords. I'm oh see. <laughs> You're already moving past it. See, look at that. See, stop worrying, Cappies. Six of Swords, uh, Aquarian energy. Wow. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, you're you're gonna be fine, Cap. You're gonna be fine. Let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 30th? This is also somebody releasing themselves from those feelings of isolation, those feelings of scarcity, those feelings of lack. I'm getting uplift. Uplift. Um, yeah, being pulled out of it, getting pulled out of, pulled out of it, which is really good. Oh my. Oh, Cappies. We have justice in reverse. Libra energy with the king of wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Someone's, so, someone recognizes the injustice, Cap. Someone does recognize it. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is someone in your environment or your energy field or someone that you're connecting with. Um, Someone sees an injustice, and I think this injustice is, um, that's so interesting. It's almost, it's regarding this, like, up, being uplifted out of scarcity mindset or scarcity in general, or being uplifted out, out of feeling isolated and feeling alone. Someone feels like that's an injustice. That's, okay. Um, <laughs> whatever. Let's see what else we get. Any other messages for Capricorn? I mean, the only reason someone would think that is if they want this person to be in isolation. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th or lack or scarcity? Why did I get out of focus? Okay. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love uh, from now until April 30th? Oh my, look at all the masculine energy. So now we have... Four of Swords in reverse, Libra energy with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Oh. Someone, I feel like it's this King of Wands. I feel like it's this King of Wands character is also harnessing this Knight of Wands in reverse energy. Um, unpredictable, volatile, even violent. Just in like a, you know, because violent people think like, you know, being bashing someone's head in. No, it's like violent is it's not just an energy that has to describe anything physical you know it's like violent is something that can be abrupt violent can be something that is intrusive violent can be something that's very disruptive right it's like that kind of energy um a little i'm getting explosive there's a need to recover from this energy there's a need to recover from this and overall we have the emperor Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy, my CEO vibration, my manager vibration. Um, it's also somebody who holds power, who holds rank, someone who could be like a judge, a lawyer, uh, could work in the like a judicial system, could be someone who works in the military, someone who's been through a lot of shit to have a lot of shit. Uh, and it's very, ma you got a lot of masculine energy in your reading Capricorn. And I know, of course, not all y'all are men. Um, it's just energy. It's just energy at play. So, you know, you could also be a masculine energy along with this person careful with that underneath that by the way the high priestess i love when the high priestess makes a little appearance piscean energy also gemini there's a lot of intuition at play here and i'm getting secrets capricorn i'm getting secrets i don't think you have secrets i feel like a lot of this energy that you, <coughs> excuse me you i feel like you're the one first of all let me say i think you're the one who's having this releasing moment this getting out of feeling scarce about money or other things or you know just having that scarcity mindset um getting out of feeling isolated getting out of feeling alone um all of that you're getting out of it but then there's this emperor slash king of wands energy because emperor i do feel like is this individual you could also be hard you know being an entrepreneurial energy because you do got a lot of work shit going on but i do feel like it's related more to this king of wands energy who like i said volatile unpredictable violent 
big on action though. They got a lot of passion. I think that's why they come off as violent. They just have a lot of passion. I'm not justifying it. I'm just, you know, I'm just telling you. But this person holds a lot of secrets. This person holds secrets. And I think you're about to find some of that out. But let's go ahead and focus on this beginning energy here with the Five of Pentacles, with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So let's look at the Eight of Swords in reverse and look at this release for yourself, okay? I'm gonna use the Alice in Wonderland deck to clarify. <clears throat> So I have an Eight of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th. So I'm about the Eight of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th. There's some trust issues here, but... I want to say it feels warranted, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I'm just, I can just feel it. So I have Eight of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th. So I have Eight of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th. I'm getting a lot of stubborn energy too off of you, Capricorn. I'm just saying... I'm getting some stubborn energy off of you. Um, I don't want to budge. I don't want to budge. You, you don't want to come near this person. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love from now until April 30th. Tell me about this Eight of Swords in reverse. For Capricorn regarding love. Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. It's also past life energy, soulmate energy, karmic energy. Oh, releasing from the bad shit. Releasing from the bad memories, pain, past pain. Yeah, you're you're just trying to move ahead. You're just you're trying to let you're trying to let it go. You want to let it go. You want to let it go so it doesn't like haunt you anymore. Some of you have been haunted by this. Tell me about eight of swords in reverse. For Capricorn, tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. For Capricorn, regarding love from now until April 30th. All right, last attempt. Let's see what else we can get for this Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. For Capricorn, regarding love from now until April 30th. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now. Okay, let's see what else we got here. We got quite a few more cards. Five of Wands, Leo energy. Ooh, Seven of Swords in reverse made us made another appearance. Aqu uh, Aquarian energy, by the way. Don't know if I said that before. So, oh my God, you're not going to believe this. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Seven of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. You have three sevens. Someone else had three sevens. Oh, who was it? Oh, I think it was an air sign. I think it was an air sign who had three sevens. And I think it was these exact same ones. God damn it. If anyone can remember, please comment below. There was another sign that had these exact same sevens that came up. I want to say it was Gemini? Gemini or Libra? I could be wrong, but they had three sevens. Anyway. So now you got three sevens here on the board. And overall energy for the eight of swords in reverse, we do have five of cups, scorpionic energy. Yeah, this energy that you've been that you know you're associating with this past pain, it was it was awful. It was awful. It left you feeling like you you were at a major loss, like you really lost out on something, or that you lost a lot from whatever that painful thing was and or is, right? And the clarifying energies, the first two with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Five of Wands, it brought nothing but like obstacles. Nothing but obstacles, nothing but fighting and tension. I'm just getting like over and over and over and over. Merry-go-round of misery. Uh, and yeah, you're just, you're letting it go. You're, you're letting it go. And with these energies, the Seven of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and Seven of Cups in reverse, letting go of the confusion about everything that happened before and like they I'm getting like emotional chaos of everything that had happened before all the deception the lies so oh I just got stealing 
Hopefully no one just stole shit from you, Capricorn. Um, they were mistakes on part of those people. Uh, and it's not your fault. I, I don't know why they're telling me to tell you that. It's not your fault. But you're releasing yourself from all of that. You're releasing yourself from it, which is good. That's what you should do. That's what you should do, okay? Now let's move over to here, to this justice in reverse that this King of Wands is feeling. Feeling like they've been almost like betrayed in a way it's very interesting they feel like an injustice has been done to them so let's look at justice in reverse let me use alice in wonderland deck again because i love it so much tell me about justice in reverse for capricorn regarding love from now until april 30th tell me what this injustice is that the king of wands is holding what's this injustice What's this injustice that the King of Wands feels has been done to them? Tell me about this injustice. Tell me about justice in reverse. I just got the word bamboozled. <laughs> that, it's kind of a funny word to get. Um, someone feels bamboozled, okay? Tell me about justice in reverse. And I actually was feeling it when I looked at these cards with the um that in and out volatile high risk behavior kind of energy <laughs> bamboozled someone feels bamboozled <laughs> tell me about justice in reverse for capricorn regarding love Let's see what this card is Ooh, page of swords in reverse lies someone feels lied to lots of lies lots of lies lots of lies oh Secrets and lies. Secrets and lies. I guess lies are secrets. Tell me about justice in reverse. You only tell a lie to keep a secret. <laughs> you know? Tell me about justice. The devil just showed up. Cap. And Cap, I love you. And I know sometimes it sucks that the devil is your major arcana card. There's a lot of great things about the devil. But when it's next to lies and secrets, not so much, right? And I'm not saying this is you. I, I think this, per this person feels uh lied to i don't think they've been lied to though i don't think you lied to them capricorn i don't know why they feel lied to I, to be honest i feel like they are the ones holding secrets and i feel like they are the ones who've been lying to you and with this devil energy it doesn't feel like a positive devil either because devil can actually be positive it can be um comes in a lot of flavors a lot of flavors but yeah i'm feeling secrets and lies tell me about justice in reverse Tell me more about this injustice. Tell me more about this injustice. Tell me more about this injustice. Yeah, you want nothing to do with this person, Capricorn. I can feel it. You you just want you just want your happy. Like I want my happy. I want what I deserve from my workplace. I want the recognition I deserve. That's all I want. I don't want you. I just I don't like. I'm done. Like I'm just done. Overall energy for the Justice card in reverse. We have Ace of Cups in reverse. Couldn't get any more cards out of this one. <sighs> yeah, they they feel lied to. They feel like there's secrets that they want knowledge to. But again, I'm feeling like it's way more the other way where it's like they're holding a lot of lies and secrets that they need to divulge. But they feel lonely. They feel kind of left out in the cold. But I don't think they have a right to feel that way. And it definitely doesn't feel like your energy, Capricorn. This feels like someone else. Let's use the Kipper deck. Let's look at this page of swords in reverse. See what we can get about these lies. <laughs> Tell me about the page of swords in reverse. What are these lies? What are these lies about? Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. What are these lies about? Or, per, per, you know, percepted lies. <laughs> Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Let's see what they are. Oh, I'm just flipping all of them over. Oh, ha! <laughs> Sorry. So we have bad health with the number 31 breaking down to a four. Toil and labor, 38 breaking down to an 11. High honor, 25 breaking down to a seven. And then journey, cyclical energy, cycles closing and opening. So honestly, just flat out, um, I do get a little bit of unhealthy work. 
And remember, I was getting that workaholic energy. So that workaholic energy might be this King of Wands, okay? Um, doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying it's like I was picking up on that in Capricorn. It doesn't have to be you. It could, you know, it's energy, right? But this is definitely like unhealthy work situations. Unhealthy work situations. Also unhealthy foundations. Very unhealthy foundations. Could also in, um, be indicative of mental health issues for anybody that resonates with. But then we have the High Honor and Journey card. This is having standards. Having standards for oneself and having pride for oneself to do what you got to do, especially with journey. That's like, that's literally what it means. It's starting something new, right? Um, so Caps, I feel like the King of Wands feels lied to. They feel very lonely, even though, again, I'm feeling like they lied to you a lot. Maybe they're just projecting their own guilt. That, my guys just said yes. <laughs> they're projecting their own guilt. Okay. They're they're perceiving um, an unhealthy work situation of some kind, right? But they also see you as kind of like having standards for yourself and trying and doing what you gotta do for you, you know? And they don't like that. They really don't like that. Um, on the bottom of the deck, oh my main male the masculine energy in this and regardless of what your gender is the the main masculine energy is feeling this yeah the main masculine energy is feeling this so let's move ahead to the four of swords universe and the knight of wands universe let's look at the let's oh yeah let's look at knight of wands universe let's look at that energy there's a lot going on there and cap like i said it's like you're just all you care about getting your recognition getting your happy, getting away from this person. You really want to get away from them. Like you're done, you're over it. And with the three sevens here, I really feel like divine is doing this so that you can get, is helping you so that you can get on your path and get to where you need to be. But let's look at the Knight of Wands universe. Okay, because that's the more of this King of Wands, like more of their nature, like how they treated you. You know what I mean? It's like they're a king, sure, but this is how they're acting as a Knight of Wands universe. So let's take a peek. Mm, I'm actually being drawn to the Thoth deck. I forgive my pronunciation if I'm not pronouncing it right. I have trouble with that with those sounds. My mouth has trouble with those sounds. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th. It's funny because I'm still learning this deck, but my guide's been really pushing me to use it more, even though they know I'm not. I don't feel ready to use it. Um, so I'm just following my intuition with them. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until... Ooh, sorry guys, itchy. I'm actually almost getting a little hot. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse, which is funny because we are on the Knight of Wands, usually known as the player. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now until April 30th. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in reverse. Wow. I was, they told me to use this deck, but it's not talking. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love, okay. Could also be a Sag Cap Cusper. Can't see what this is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Prince of Swords in reverse. Hmm, more lies? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, we already knew lies were at play, right? See, so like, I knew this person was a liar. I knew they were. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse. Tell me about Knight of Wands in reverse. You know, this King of Wands, I feel like really wants your attention cap, whether they deserve it or not. They really want your attention, but they do feel like, you know, there is this sense of like cap only focuses on work or cap puts work ahead of me. But I feel like they always want it to be about them, you know? Um, oh, my. Three of Swords, the Libra energy. Yeah, I got Three of Swords again. Yeah, see, this person just lied to you and caused pain with their behavior and you're you're recovering from that even if you keep suppressing it you know you need to recover from it some of you have worked through it others you're still suppressing it so you can focus on work more um but you're gonna you're gonna heal from this eventually tell me about knight of wands in reverse for capricorn regarding love from now until april 30th tell me about knight of wands in reverse for capricorn 
Okay, so we got two more cards. What do we have here? Ooh, the Hermit, Virgo energy with the Queen of Pentacles, Cappy. <laughs> Could also be Earth or Water. Um, yeah, yeah. See, Hermit mode, especially with the Four of Swords in reverse here, this is needing to go into the Four of Swords, needing to re rehab from this, needing to recover from this. We now have the Major Arcana to the Minor Arcana. As above, so below. So like, just like I said before, when that happens, when you have the minor arcana to the major arcana come out in a reading, it basically is saying it's like divine's trying really hard to, to kind of make this happen and go the right in the way it really should go um, for you, Capricorn. And I already picked up on that already, right? It's like they, they, they want this for you. They're working in your favor. They're working in your favor. Um, but you are doing a lot of introspection about it. You need to not want sorry you're not doing it you need to <laughs> they keep correcting me you need to you need to overall energy for the nine of wand nine of wands in reverse still getting used to these cards and i think my eyesight's getting worse because i'm having to do that more often seven of cups i think this king's got options and they're just that selfish they need a lot of attention yeah they need a lot of attention. So much attention that they need seven cups. <laughs> they need se seven sources of attention, not just from you. But um, it's also just caused a lot of confusion for you. A lot. And you're just, you're done. Like, you just, you don't want anything to do with this person. You just... You just want to focus on your money. You want to focus on your work. And then once you get to a place where you're happy with that, then I think you're going to fully throw yourself into healing from this. But... It's almost like you're trying not to focus on it too much so you can get your shit done at work and get your pentacles straight. You know, it's very Capricorn, very Capricorn. Um, I won't pull Romance Angels because, I mean, I, uh, this feels so much more about like what you're suppressing versus what you're really dealing with in your day to day, which is your pentacle. So I'm not going to go into the Romance Angels deck. Um, but, you know, let's use the Shaman deck. Let's do a little something special since you guys were so patient. Um, I am going to just ask for just general messages instead of advice because I think you guys are, are handling it. Um, but, you know, when I just make it really general for them to just bring out whatever it is they want to bring out for you guys, brings out some really interesting stuff, okay? Oh, I love this deck. God, it just feels good. It just feels good in my hands. Any messages or advice? I'll do an advice too. Just see what comes up. Any general messages or advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any general advice or any general messages for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Anything Capricorn needs to hear. That's a better intention. What does Capricorn need to hear? You know what? I'm going to set that intention from now on in my videos. What does Capricorn need to hear regarding this spread when I do the Oracle portion? I know, random speak. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. Anyway, what does Capricorn need to hear regarding this spread? What does Capricorn need to hear regarding this spread? What does Capricorn need to hear regarding this spread? What does Capricorn need to hear? regarding this spread that's so weird i'm not hot anymore yeah that knight of wands energy <sighs> yeah that made me really freaking hot i didn't like that <laughs> and all of a sudden i feel fine uh what does capricorn need to hear regarding this spread oh just got the chills through my solar plexus the lower world with the number 31 breaking down to a four foundations it's also you're having a lot of fours come up to Capricorn and it, it's actually bringing me to the, the house like the houses family house um this could be related to family I don't think it is but it could be related to family for some of you just keep that in mind um I, I just got that vibration for some of you but lower world this is about actually um touching base with your ancestors staying aware of animal totems to get answers right and to lean on for support to lean on for guidance I love that card love that card it's literally going to your animal totems and your ancestors for guidance and for healing and for support oh well ancestors family you can lean you should lean on family right now in regards to this stuff 
I'm, and they're telling me specifically this, this, not money, but this. Um, sorry, I'm just getting messages. Uh, it's that I know you're not used to doing that. They're telling me you're not used to doing that. Whoever that's going to resonate with. You're not used to doing that, but it's going to help you tremendously, even though it might be hard for you to do. Any other um, general advice or messages or anything else Capricorn needs to hear regarding this spread? Love these cards. The second I stop talking, they just give me cards. Ooh, 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 the circle with the number eight. This is literally about all of us being connected, all of us being energetically connected. And when we have changes within ourselves, it changes the people in our environment. It changes the people we're energetically connected to and biologically connected to. It does. I'm going to do a video about that someday. Anyway. This is about remembering that we are all connected. Your ancestors are with you. You know, there's a lot of ancestor stuff coming up for people. Watch the Libra reading. That might help. That might resonate with you a little bit. Um, but I've been noticing that. And I want to talk to you guys about that. And if you guys have been experiencing that. Because I'm feeling that really strong all of a sudden. That, hey, your ancestors are basically like, look, we're always connected to you. And we're always going to help you out and support you. You just have to call out for us. Wow. Oh, that's deep. See, this card's always deep. Time for some deep talk. All right, let's see what else we can get for you guys, and then we'll wrap it up. Anything else Capricorn needs to hear regarding this spread? Anything else Capricorn needs to hear regarding this spread? Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. I know I don't mean to be dramatic. Upper world. 59 breaks down to a five. Transformation, change, towers, things like things of that nature. You literally have this is crazy, man. Oh my god. This is this is very um this is very clear cut. You have lower world, the circle and upper world. We are all connected, guys. But your ancestors are trying to remind you, not just your ancestors, but spirit as well, is trying to remind you that you are always connected to the lower world and the upper world, okay? And then we also have, like, middle world. Um, but, the, like, these two cards in this whole deck to come out for three cards, that's insane. That is basically saying, Capricorn, it's time to connect. It's time to remember that you're connected. It's time to remember that we are always talking to you. We're always talking to you. We're always telling you stuff. We're always there to support you. It's time to harness that for your healing process, okay? Even if you just go within yourself, you're still connected to all of us and everything. Oh boy. Wow. Chills all over the place. And overall, magic with the number 33. You have lower world, upper world, and now you have 33 with magic. I love this card because this is about, like you see, she's basically a child. This is about believing again, believing how you did as a child and the things that were fantastical. And that is how you start to manifest. That is how you start to connect to spirit is by believing in that, having that faith. And I feel like a lot of you have maybe lost sight of that because, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of shit in the 3D. And when you deal with a lot of shit in the 3D, sometimes it's hard to forget that, oh yeah, this is what's actually important. I forgot. This is what's actually important. This is actually what's going to help me get through the 3D shit instead of me working my ass off trying to do it all by myself. You don't have to do it by yourself, Cap. You got spirit and you have your ancestors. And ancestors are coming in really strong. Like I said, it's like that's happening for people. If that is something that's resonating with you, do not ignore that. And don't keep throwing yourself into work. Like you got to address some of these issues. And spirit's trying to get you to do it and trying to remind you to believe again to in order to get follow that path. Okay. Wow. Oh boy, caps. <laughs> well, I hope this, I I wish you guys luck. I think you guys are going to be just fine. I'm just, I'm amazed that lower world and upper world came out like that. Like that's blowing my fucking mind. Not to mention the card of like energetic connection, to, you know? <laughs> anyway, I hope that this um, helped you guys out and I hope it was insightful. Um, I hope you gained something from it, some kind of healing from it. Also guys, don't forget to check out Patreon on the Facebook page and thank you guys for being so patient, <laughs> okay? Um, I will see you guys later, all right? Have a great night. Namaste.